and we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. On May 20th, 2025, a signal from 15 billion miles away saved a 47-year-old mission. NASA engineers miraculously fired up Voyager 1's backup thrusters, which had been dormant for decades. This was hailed as a genius fix to save the probe from going dark forever. But some insiders are now whispering a different story. They claim the probe's recent blackouts and impossible recoveries aren't just clever engineering. An AI analyzing the probe's new data from beyond our solar system has detected anomalies suggesting Voyager 1 is no longer entirely under our control. It's not just exploring, it's being guided. 15 billion miles from home. It's funny when you think about it. The computer chip that nearly ended humanity's greatest journey has less processing power than the fob you use to unlock your car. In late 2023, that tiny piece of 1970s technology hurtling through space 15 billion miles from home finally gave up. Voyager 1, our lonely sentinel in the cosmic dark, stopped making sense. For 47 years, it had been our faithful correspondent from the abyss, a journey that took it past the gas giants and into the great unknown. Now, its messages turned to gibberish. The stream of data that had been painting a picture of interstellar space devolved into a repeating useless loop of code. For five long months, NASA held its breath. This wasn't just a technical glitch. Our only direct link to the space between stars had been severed. Engineers at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory faced a nightmare. How do you troubleshoot a computer from the disco era when it takes a radio signal over 22 and a half hours just to reach it? Every command sent into the void was a shot in the dark, with a nearly two-day wait for a reply that kept coming back garbled. The official cause was a mystery. Had a random cosmic ray, a tiny particle moving at nearly the speed of light, finally dealt a critical blow? Or had our little probe wandered into a region of space so hostile that its very mind was torn apart? Believe it or not, some insiders whispered that the initial corrupted signal wasn't random. For a few brief moments before the main failure, the telemetry allegedly flickered with patterns that mimicked known stellar pulses almost as if something was trying to talk back. This was quickly dismissed, but the rumor lingered. The fix was nothing short of a miracle. Engineers pinpointed the problem, a single corrupted memory chip. Since they couldn't repair it, they decided to slice up the affected code and carefully tuck it into other parts of the system's memory. It was like performing remote brain surgery from across the solar system. On April 20th, 2024, a clear signal came back. Voyager was alive. But the story gets stranger. The probe's trials didn't end there. In late 2024, another chilling blackout struck. Then, in May 2025, another miracle. NASA revived Voyager's long dormant backup thrusters after over two decades of inactivity. Fringe theorists online exploded. This wasn't just human ingenuity, they claim, but subtle alien aid. One wild theory suggests Voyager is now possessed by an interstellar AI, using the thrusters to subtly alter its trajectory toward a rendezvous with an unknown object. An advanced AI system back on Earth, tasked with analyzing Voyager's ongoing data stream for anomalies, flagged these events. The probability of a single probe suffering these specific failures and experiencing these impossible recoveries, the AI concluded, was almost zero. It was as if something was testing it or even helping it. But the help might be a trap luring it deeper into a cosmic mystery. Tsunami from a dead star. With its instruments back online, Voyager began to speak of the world it now inhabits. And it is a world, not a void. The first shock came from its magnetometer. 
It detected an interstellar magnetic field that is sharply tilted and far more powerful than any model had ever predicted. This wasn't a gentle shift. It was like crossing an invisible wall where the rules of physics seemed to change. A zone of magnetic turbulence where the galaxy's fields are tangled up like cosmic spaghetti. Then came the sounds. The plasma wave system didn't detect the silence of empty space. Instead, it picked up a persistent low frequency hum. It's not a sound you could hear with your ears, but a constant vibration of the thin soup of charged particles that fills the void. It's as if the space between stars is whispering. What's more, the probe's instruments are recording massive spikes in plasma density, like giant tsunamis rolling through space. Scientists believe these are shock fronts from long inactive stars the ghostly echoes of supernovas that exploded thousands of years ago, still traveling through the galaxy. Voyager isn't just drifting, it's flying through the wreckage of cosmic history. By 2025, this cosmic hum has taken on wilder interpretations. Recent data packets reveal the hum isn't just background noise. It modulates in patterns that some, including the pattern recognizing AI, claim mimic intelligent signals. One viral theory suggests scientists have decoded a message embedded within the hum, a 200 million year old warning from an ancient extraterrestrial race. Is Voyager's AI flagging proof that it's eavesdropping on a cosmic conversation? That it's finally confirming we are not alone? The hum is unnerving, but what the probe found next is terrifying. A fragile oasis. Imagine you've spent your entire life in a cozy house believing the whole world was just as calm and safe. Then one day you step outside and discover your house is the only thing standing in the middle of a never-ending category five hurricane. That is exactly what happened to Voyager 1. The moment it crossed the heliopause, the invisible boundary where our sun's influence ends, it was like a shield had been vaporized. For decades, its cosmic ray detector had reported a steady trickle of high-energy particles. Suddenly, that trickle became a fire hose. The reading shot up, registering a hailstorm of galactic cosmic rays. These aren't just tiny specks of dust, they are the shattered hearts of atoms fired from exploding stars and supermassive black holes, traveling at over 99% the speed of light. A single one of these particles can carry the kinetic energy of a baseball screaming at 60 miles per hour. This single discovery revealed a profound and deeply humbling truth. We live in a cosmic oasis. Our sun's magnetic field, the heliosphere, inflates a protective bubble around our entire solar system. It is a force field, tirelessly pushing back against the vast majority of this deadly radiation that would otherwise shred our DNA and sterilize our world. But here's where the story turns from awe-inspiring to deeply disturbing. The patterns of these cosmic rays aren't random. Voyager's detectors have measured strange, almost organized variations, as if the particles are flowing along invisible channels or highways. Natural forces are typically chaotic and messy. These structures, some claim, seem too orderly, too perfect. It's as if the interstellar medium has natural highways and rivers of radiation, or maybe they aren't natural at all. Some astrophysicists wonder if Voyager is mapping a galactic weather system, but fringe thinkers ask a terrifying question. What if these aren't highways, but fences? Demarcation lines, like cosmic keep-out signs, that our little probe just brazenly ignored. This is where the AI's analysis becomes truly chilling. It is flagged a statistical impossibility. The timing of Voyager crossing into these strange organized energy flows correlates directly with the appearance of bizarre interstellar objects in our own solar system, like the bizarre cigar-shaped Oumuamua and the comet 2i Borisov. Oumuamua in particular baffled scientists. 
It was shaped like nothing we'd ever seen, and it accelerated away from the sun without any visible reason, leading some top astronomers to speculate it was an alien probe. The AI suggests this might not be a coincidence. A wild 2025 theory now proposes that Voyager's signal upon crossing one of these galactic borders tripped a cosmic tripwire. It alerted something or someone to our existence, and these interstellar objects weren't just passing by, they were automated sentinels dispatched to investigate the breach. Remote viewers even claim to see disguised alien vehicles now passing through our system, collecting data. The AI has flagged a terrifying possibility that these cosmic highways are artificial transit lanes, and by crossing them, we just announced our presence on the galactic interstate. Invitation to an Invasion as its plutonium power source slowly fades, Voyager 1 will become a ghost ship, a relic destined to coast silently and eternally through the cosmos. In about 40,000 years, it will pass a star called Gliese 445, but its journey will continue long after its creators have turned to dust. It carries a passenger, perhaps the most important artifact humanity has ever created, the Golden Record. Bolted to its side is a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc, our ultimate message in a bottle, engineered to survive for over a billion years. On it are 116 images, the sounds of our planet, and our music, from Bach to Chuck Berry. It is the most enduring monument our species will ever build, but there's a much darker interpretation. The golden record contains a map, Etched onto its surface is a diagram showing the location of our sun relative to 14 known pulsars. It also points out the third planet. To any civilization advanced enough to find it, this is a treasure map with a big X marking Earth. The team that created it, led by the brilliant Carl Sagan, made a monumental gamble on the kindness of strangers. But what if they were wrong? This gamble flies in the face of one of the most terrifying ideas about the cosmos, the dark forest theory. Think of the universe as a huge, dark forest at night. It's filled with silent hunters and every civilization is one of them. You can't see anyone else and you don't know if they are friendly or not. The only logical move for survival is to stay perfectly silent. Because the moment you make a sound, the moment you light a fire to say, I'm here, you reveal your position to every other hunter in the woods, and since you can't risk that the other hunter is hostile, the safest bet for them is to eliminate you before you can eliminate them. In this scenario, Voyager 1 isn't a peace envoy, it's a child screaming our exact address into that dark, silent forest. Another chilling idea is the zoo hypothesis. This theory suggests that Earth and humanity are part of a cosmic nature preserve. Advanced alien species are watching us from a distance, sworn not to interfere, just like we watch animals in a wildlife park. They're waiting for us to mature. But by sending out the golden record, we've done the equivalent of an animal in the zoo suddenly holding up a sign that says, I know you're out there, let me out. This act could shatter their non-interference policy, forcing the zookeepers to step in. Or even worse, it could alert cosmic poachers that there's something special and vulnerable in this particular cage. And what about the most mind-bending theory of all? That we are living in a sophisticated computer simulation. If that's true, then the heliopause isn't a physical boundary, it's the edge of the rendered map. Voyager's strange glitches and communication blackouts aren't mechanical failures, they are glitches in the matrix. The program struggling to process an object going out of bounds. The cosmic hum it's detecting could be the background processing noise of the system running our reality. The AI on Earth detecting patterns isn't finding aliens, it's recognizing the underlying code of our own prison. In this case, the golden record is a message we've managed to push outside the simulation's walls, a move that the programmers might not appreciate. 
You have to wonder, sitting here on this planet, if any of this could be true. Does a signal from a machine built before most of us were born really matter? The thing is, this isn't just a story about space. It's a story about a single message that could trigger any one of these terrifying futures. We sent out an invitation without knowing who we were inviting to the party. We might be missing a key detail, a piece of the puzzle that changes everything overnight. And now, all we can do is listen for a knock on the door. Voyager 1 proved we don't live in a quiet neighborhood. As its power fades, its final whispers could be our most important warning. Did we send a message of peace or a map leading danger straight to our front door? Let us know your thoughts below. And for more stories from the edge of reality, make sure to like and subscribe.